Okay, so here's the Arduino IDE. Uh, I've got version 164. I don't think it really matters, um, but um, just download that. Just Google search Arduino, uh, download and download that from uh, the Arduino site and install it. And then I'm going to go File, Preferences, and I'm going to look at my sketchbook location. Um, and I'm going to go there in Explorer. So here's my sketchbook location. And in there is going to be the libraries file or folder. In the libraries folder, I've placed the relevant libraries. I've just copied those folders over. And then here in the sketchbook folder is the OpenLog V3 black box folder, which contains the OpenLog V3.ino file. That's the Arduino sketch. So then I'm going to go file sketchbook and I should see that here if you don't see this here then you haven't put the open log v3 black box folder in your sketch uh, sketch folder and then I'm going to just click verify and that will do the compile and verify that it works and you see it says done compiling with no error messages so now I'm ready to upload in order to upload you're going to plug your FTDI programmer cable into your, the USB port on your machine. And you're going to wire it to the open log as shown here. It's basically the exact same pinout as the cable already has, except the RX and TX lines are reversed on the open log from what they would need to be. So you have to, um, you can either, you can just lift these little pins here and slide the pins out with these little tabs and slide the pins out and swap the yellow and the orange wire or you can build a, a, a adapter to cross those or you can even you can buy them um, the one that uh, black box shows on the spark fun site actually has been discontinued but it's not hard to build or you can just use like a razor knife to lift up this little pin or uh, little tab and you can just pull the pin right out and you can then put them back in just slide them right back in again um, Anyway, so you're gonna you're gonna need to put the pins on the open log device, um, and then plug your FTDI programmer in with with the pins crossed, or build an adapter to plug it in to cross the RX and the TX pins over. Once it's plugged in, you can then go Tools Port, and you choose the the serial port that your FTDI program is plugged into. And it should auto detect that, I think. Um, mine's grayed out because I don't currently have one plugged in. Uh, you're going to make sure your board is set to Arduino Uno. I'm 99% sure that's the right board to use for the open log because I'm 99% sure the last thing I flashed was an open log. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'll double check that. And if that's not correct, I'll put an annotation up to correct it. So the port and the board are set. And then you're just going to click upload. And you should be good to go. It should it should uh, compile and upload, and that's it. Um, you can confirm that you have uploaded the firmware correctly by applying power to the board. And if you just uh, plug it into the FTDI cable, that should work. Um, and when you do that, if you've got an SD card in it, the OpenLog firmware or the black box firmware will make a config file on the SD card. The black box firmware only has one parameter in the config file. You can just open it in the text editor and check. The black box firmware only creates the baud rate parameter. So if you see in the config file on the SD card baud uh, 14200 and nothing else, then you've correctly and successfully uh, flashed it. If you see baud rate, um, stop bits, parity, a whole bunch of other parameters in the config file, more than just baud, then you still got the default firmware on there and something hasn't worked. That's it.